other side. But for this, we're going to move on to the face. And we're just going to begin with nice finger painting. Notice I do not reapply lubricant. Uh, you may want to use a very nice face cream for this, but you would ask your client about that and you would never get it in their eyes. So notice here, I'm just doing little finger paintings. Finger painting the contour of her face before moving into circling. Once again, I'm using the tips of my fingers, but my fingers are very soft And I make little circles all the way up to her nose. It's amazing how many muscles we have in our face. And the tight muscles in our face can be very uncomfortable. So all the way down to her jawline, around her mouth, and even under the jaw. Raindrop. Very good for circulation. Certainly wouldn't do this on the eyes, but across the eyebrows and the cheeks. And we move to spreading. And so I'm going to place and sink and spread. I'm using a moderate amount of pressure here. And then at the nose, under the cheekbones, and at the chin. Notice here, I'm above the jawline and below it, curving around the mandible, and then along the line of the lips. And to finish, I move around the ears. Little circles, little pulling. To finish this routine, I like to do a traction of the head. I'm going to cradle her head in my hands, and I'm going to sit back with soft hands and get a nice long traction in her neck her cervical spine, and all the way down the rest of her spine. So notice I come in here. My, my thumbs are along the line of her neck, not in the front. But really, I just sit back to get the traction. And you see, I just take up the slack, and I get very still inside, and I wait for the tissue to let me in. I can actually feel this happen, vertebrae by vertebrae. And it's a marvelous way to end. A lovely massage. Once I'm done with that, I want to come up and reestablish the curve of the neck, scoop fingers along the lamina groove to reestablish the curve. And then 